access the money. And a lot of us run into problems much later in life. And there's so many other people who have helped us along the way that probably neglect and run into problems much later in life. There are immediate communities that we live that do not have, apart from knowing that that is where your house is, there's absolutely no other benefits that they would derive from the artist. So, our Nigerian artist is socially responsible. You talked about making money, making money, making money, but what have you done with the money that you make for the society? Gentlemen, that is not for you to answer. Thank you very much for coming. The next panel will focus on that. And leading that panel is one of the... One of... She was honored by Time Magazine as one of 100 most influential people in the world. Please welcome Omotola Jalade Ekende. Ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for Mrs. Omotola Jalade Ekende. Please take your seats. Ah, ah, hello there. <laughs> I know it's been a long day. My name again is Amatala Jaladia Kende, and I'm here to speak on social responsibility. Um, is it possible for me to get um, a cordless mic? Yeah, I would prefer that <laughs> if it's possible. Thank you. After that break in, trans, uh, in transmission, we're back. So, I'll try as possible to be as informal as minimum standards that we must adhere to. Where penalties are also taken seriously for offenders in receiving payments and conditions of service rendered. When I say this, I, don't, I, I, I was very careful not to just talk about payments because, they, like you all know, everyone has different standards. And it's very easy to, I've said this some time ago in our own Nollywood you know, conference and people said, you know, it's very, but I'm saying that there should be basic minimums. It is a way also of telling that person, even when they want something, that they deserve more. It is a way of not letting them go below their own human capacity and not allow someone else to dehumanize them. And at what point do you say, I deserve to be treated as a human being, even when you don't have enough with you to make you look like a human being? What I mean is this, does a beggar, just because he has nothing on the street, deserve for you to splash water on him? If you splashed water on uh, Obasanjo or whoever, you know, Kasi would demand that you would stop and say, oh, sorry. But how many of us have ever splashed water on a nobody and felt like we des they deserved for us to say, sorry? So I'm talking about not just payments, but human behavior. Test of character. It's a human life worth. What is the worth of a human life? What is the worth of a Nigerian life? How can we begin to phantom as entertainers if we do not start from ourselves? to build minimum standards, how the society actually needs to be treated. How do we begin to phantom and to understand what the society actually deserves? Let me point out here that I, Otola, have never campaigned, hobnobbed, or parted with any government. I stand here today to say that very clearly without fear, and I'm sure people can check and do their research. So I would really appreciate it for no one to call my name a such public statement from henceforth. Because I do suffer by not collecting monies. Ghana must go to stand on that path. And so if I have suffered that, please don't suffer me again by joining me to the group. Thank you very much. Having said this, I agree with this message that the writer was hoping to pass. But do I think that government should not be supported? No, I do not think this. I have actually volunteered with no reward to help 
a, a campaign of a candidate that I believe strongly sometime ago. However, I believe that as intelligent people, and we are, we know even before campaigners start their campaigns, who the people that are likely to be good leaders. We know who the good candidates are.